On today's video, we're gonna be doing a little steak experiment. Hey, if you love to grill and barbecue, then this is the channel for you. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss a thing. Because on today's video, we're gonna be experimenting with ribeyes. Reverse seared versus regular seared. So we got the Weber going and we just got a little product in from Amazon called the Slow and Sear. We're gonna give that sucker a try and see how it turns out. I've heard a lot of good things about it. So I figured, hey, why not? Um, they say when you grill with it, you're supposed to dump boiling water in it. We ain't doing that. Just not, we're just not gonna do that. But anyways, we got some ribeyes here and we're gonna season these up exactly the same because it's an experiment, right? Reverse seared versus regular seared. And uh, today what we're gonna be using is Dirty Bird Hot and Texas friggin' Beef. A little Dirty Bird Hot. And always good Texas Beef. So uh, you're probably wondering what this is for. This is kind of a little hack. I always use it to spray down the grates, <clears throat> but if you ever cooked a steak or a burger on a grill and you put your rub on there, next thing you know, your rub's stuck to the grate, Here's a little hack for you. After you put the rub on, you shoot the outside of the steak a little bit. That's all you gotta do. And it's butter flavor, I mean, geez. All right, so we got the cooker rolling. Let's just get to cooking these things. So as you can tell, these cook completely different, totally different times. I don't know if the color, it, the, where we're at right now, and I got a white truck over here, everything is just kind of throwing the color off to my eyes, but these are cooked perfect. So I'm just gonna jump right in and taste test them. So this is the reverse seared. It has a lot of flavor. A lot of that charcoal lump, that that just that flavor that just I mean just screams backyard cooking. So let's try the the regular sear. Now the crust on here is ridiculous. I love this crust. But let's see if it stacks up flavor-wise. Flavor-wise, this crust kills it. It's unbelievable. Way more flavor on this side though. So which one do you cook? Man, I don't think it really matters. If you cook this one just right, I would probably, if I had to do this one again, I would probably come back and throw a little Texas beef on it right before I seared it, just to get the crust that this one has. Just caramelize them sugars. And that would be a perfect steak. Hey, so leave me a comment down below. How do you like to cook your steaks? Reverse seared, regular, smoked, in a skillet? Hey, I wanna thank you for watching. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss a thing. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace!